My family have held our vigil over these majestic swathes of countryside for generations. My roots are deep here, and the success and survival of Cuatro Colinas Game Reserve is my primary responsibility. And now, my old friend, we are reunited. It's been a long time since we last worked together, but I know you're going to be essential to my plans for the future. I trust that you slept well last night, and you're ready for your Castilian adventure. After all these years of promising to show you Cuatro Colinas, your first day on the reserve has arrived. It means a great deal to me that you made this journey. I have every confidence that you're going to love hunting here. The first thing I would like you to do is to experience the sublime Bosque Vista. Not far from where you're standing just now. From atop the vista, one has a splendid perspective of the reserve. This view includes one of our magnificent outposts, which I recommend you visit when you get the chance. I know a rugged outdoor explorer like you doesn't need to spend the night in the luxury of a castillo, but you do have all of our visitors' outposts at your disposal. My mother and father had all of these lodges built over the last 35 years. The lodge you are looking for is called Casa Alfonso. To modernize the reserve, we have recently updated the interiors of all of our lodges. We kept the original stone cladding, though. The contrast in styles is pure magic. Doy la bienvenida a Cuatro Colinas, my friend. I hope you like the view. Standing here, you are following in the footsteps of Spanish dukes and kings, as well as every generation of my family for the past three centuries. You should be able to see Casa Alfonso from there. When you have sampled enough of the view, take the walk down to the outpost. you didn't forget the lodge key in the castillo. Excellent. Casa Alfonso is back in business. As with any other lodge on the reserve, please feel free to use it as your base of operations. Now that you have a base camp, should you need it, I want to show you the most magical part of the reserve. There are some parts of Cuatro Colinas that only a select few know about. I'm taking you to a place where the views are magnificent and the hunting is even better. There, I've sent you the coordinates for the trailhead that leads to this divine setting. Normally I would insist on being there with you while you experience it, but I don't want you to miss it. I encourage you to hunt as much as you'd like. You are undoubtedly keen to become familiar with the rolling hills, steep ascents, and your wily prey. You should search for animal tracks. I know you have experience, but one should utilize every advantage when taking on the cunning beasts of Cuatro Colinas. Of course, if you're lucky, you'll probably hear something just from walking through that part of the reserve. The hunter I knew didn't rely on luck, though. I recall that you used to have wonderful hearing. Is that still true? Or have your years gotten the better of you?
I see your tracking skills are as sharp as ever. I'm sure you're going to enjoy your hunts here. This is the start of the trail that leads to my own little patch of heaven on Earth. You're nearly there. You have ears like a bat. Are you going to pursue? You have arrived. Is it not stunning? Recently, I've only come here to meditate. It is so ethereal and serene, even when the rain is falling. When I first invited you to visit, I assumed that I would be coming home to host you as a visitor, spending time here before traveling abroad once again. With my return being prompted by my mother's passing instead, my focus has been entirely on work, instead of enjoying the very places that bring me comfort. I am pleased that I was able to show you this. In a way, I got to experience it vicariously. Of course, it's also one of our best spots to go hunting. I've never gone on a hunt out there and returned home empty-handed. If you are able to pull yourself away from the tranquil beauty of the cove, there are many other wonderful sights for you to see. Senor Baden, our company for last night, appears to be enjoying his time here as well. He's a unique fellow, but quite charming in his own way. When I mentioned that I had hired you as a professional hunter, he seemed a little bothered. He then proceeded to inform me of some hunting accolades that he has received during his career as a hunter. Until recently, I'd put his candor down to the sangria, but he seems equally enthusiastic in his self-promotion, even with a clear head. Apparently, he has harvested a pair of ibex already. I think someone is trying to market themselves as a worthy competitor. I think it's time for you to remind me what you can do. I'd like for you to harvest an animal. Any animal. Once you're done, let me know, and I'll inform Senor Baden that he has a little competition. When I first returned to help run the reserve after my time away, these were the places I wanted to be. Places that reminded me of my mother. Just a short way down the cove, there is another splendid view. I recommend it. You've arrived at the Overlook. It's a good place to start planning a hunt from. You're sure to find something through your binoculars.
You're going to need to do enough hunting for both of us, it would seem. The administrative part of my role is something I am still getting used to. Sadly, it prevents me from spending any time on the reserve with you, or getting to know my neighbors. Cuatro Colinas is mostly composed of my family's estate, but includes several tracts of public land with public roads. Because I'm overseeing the reserve, I need to work with the local government to ensure that the public roads are kept safe. There is a stretch of road in particular that is extremely dangerous. It has a steep cliff on one side, and drivers need to slow right down or risk a perilous drop. Until recently, we had road signs warning approaching drivers of the danger. I mention this to you because these signs have suddenly disappeared, as if by magic, and I need you to replace them. I know that this would normally be a hunter's job, but I have asked the mayor to take care of it, and he told me that I have to wait a month for him to send a crew. I'd have my handyman Julio deal with it, but the poor old soul is laid up in bed with pneumonia. I was able to go into town and retrieve some replacements. Unfortunately, I was in a rush and had to attend a meeting, so I wasn't able to put them up. You're in the right spot. I left the signs so you'd be able to find them easily. Once you've retrieved the signs, there are poles about 30 meters from the bend in either direction. Attach the signs to the poles. isn't even the first time this has happened. I've heard of drunk people stealing traffic cones, but this must be something else. For now, though, we have something else to take care of. My neighbor Manuel is a goat herd who has been raising goats here for 25 years, and one of his goats has gone missing. Apparently, it is his favorite, Paloma. This might seem like a small concern, but he has assisted my family on many occasions. I want to repay his kindness. Manuel has told me of an isolated tree that Paloma uses to hide from the rain. Perhaps that's a good place to start your search. It stands on its own, so it should be easy to find. You're getting close to the tree that Manuel mentioned. Can you see any sign of Paloma? I will be sure to take a trip to visit Manuel this evening, so I can inform him in person. I will take some flowers. The body. It appears that she was killed and then abandoned. Surprising behavior for a predator. Are there any clues as to what did this? These prints were left by a wolf, but this is strange behavior. The wolves tend not to take prey from this part of the reserve, but maybe one got desperate. We ought to investigate this further, and track down the creature that did this. It's essential that even if we don't catch it, we ensure that it hasn't lingered in the area, putting the other ghosts at risk. It does appear that the tracks are leading away from the pasture, though. With any luck, the wolf won't come back. Disappearing road signs, wolves that kill but don't eat? These are not the sort of events I expected out here.
At least, they never used to be. Since taking over responsibility for the reserve from my father while he gets better, I have started to realize just how much effort goes into maintaining Cuatro Colinas. Vista España are quite determined to have a meeting with my father, but he is in no position to negotiate a deal at the moment. I find myself too busy with the small tasks of running the reserve, making it impossible to deal with anything else. I had planned to take him to visit my mother's memorial today. A close family friend, Padre Abbas has made a wreath and offered to go in our stead. I wonder if he got a chance to visit. He's a busy man too. He spends most of his free time exploring the reserve when he isn't stopping by to visit us at the Castillo. I don't know if he will get an opportunity to visit the memorial today. And I know that I won't get a chance for at least a week. She deserves better. I should be up there now, instead of meeting with lawyers and accountants. I know that bureaucracy is necessary to run a game reserve, but it all seems trivial when compared to taking care of my family. Even though she's gone, I still feel a sense of duty. I apologize. You don't need to hear this. I should get back to work. At the memorial, you did not have to travel up there on my behalf, but I am very grateful for the picture. <sighs> Padre made the trip after all, it seems. His wreaths are so beautiful, don't you think? He makes them from wild flowers that he finds on his travels. My mother used to make them too. She was such a wonderful person. She always tried to get the most out of every day. She never seemed to rest. It's a shame that you never met her. I think you two would have got on well. She loved walking those trails as much as anyone else I've ever met. <laughs> My father used to joke that she only married him so she could spend her weekends in the woods. I, since we lost her, I've been trying to keep it together here, but... I honestly don't know if I'm doing enough. I thought that revitalizing the outpost would help, but we need more. Padre Abbas has been very kind to me, and I know that he trusts me to do what's right. His counsel has been invaluable. I want to thank him for his support. He's putting a book together, and I think we can help him with his work. I have told him how to get in touch with you. I take it as a personal favor if you helped him out. He doesn't ask for anything from me, but I want to pay him back. However, Padre Abbas is far from the only person who could use some assistance. The reserve's resident vet has some concerns following your discovery of the dead goat and the wolf tracks. If a wolf strays out of his usual territory and kills a goat but does not feed, it can be an indicator of rabies, it's a worst-case scenario, but we should consider it just in case. There are other potential reasons for this behavior. <sighs> the thing is, this isn't the first time this has happened. It's not public knowledge, but I feel that now is the time to tell you. My mother's passing was... She was killed in a wolf attack. My father spent days afterwards trying to hunt down the wolf that did it, but ultimately there is no way of knowing. He returned home and hasn't hunted since. I won't let it happen again. We need to establish if this is an isolated case or if there's a wider problem that we must tackle. First things first, we need a sample from a wolf in its home range. If it turns out to have signs of rabies, we know that we have a problem. If not, then we can adjust our strategy and explore any alternative possibilities. You can still harvest it, but we need the brain. 
so that we can run some tests. Nicely done. Our vet is offering to work out of hours, so I am hoping to have answers soon. I'll let you know if the test indicate rabies. If it turns out to be the case, I hope we've caught it early. Please exercise extra caution, and let me know if you find anything out of the ordinary. I am having the strangest day. I just received a call from Sole Santiago, one of my neighbors. She is an olive farmer who has become a, a de facto representative for most of the people working the land here. She told me that one of our farmers has had his barn broken into, which is strange enough for a barn in the middle of nowhere. What makes it truly bizarre is that this farmer's tractor has had the tires slashed. Apparently there are footprints that lead from the barn. I know that you weren't planning on chasing any people during your time here, but if you could put your tracking prowess to use, I'd appreciate it. Santiago told me that the farmer who owns the tractor was opening up this morning when he spotted that the lock on the barn was broken. Sometimes neighbors get a little petty and do stupid things, but Armando is such a sweet man. He wakes up early, tends to his crops, and goes home. I can't imagine anybody wanting to do this to him. He seems pretty surprised about it all, too. That tractor is definitely out of action. On the plus side, Armando doesn't store anything valuable in there. The footprint should be nearby. Be careful. We don't know who left these footprints and what they're capable of. Armando is an old man, so it's for the best that he didn't go trying to track them down. Hopefully you won't encounter any trouble. I don't know if we're going to find anything, but I'll admit, I'm curious about what's happened here. They end once they get back to the road, but look, there's tire tracks here. The tracks were left by something heavy. Take a picture with the footprints and tire tracks inside it and send it to me. Santiago also happened to mention that she has been chatting with some of the other farmers. It would appear that news of Armando's tractor and Manuel's lost goat have spread and he's making them nervous. Of course, 
these two incidents are very different, but it's putting the farmers on edge. <sighs> Things like this didn't happen when my parents were in charge. I just need to make it clear that we are taking care of things still. One farmer has taken to planting old hunting traps. I don't know if they're hoping to catch a wolf or a vandal, but either way, I want you to remove these traps from my reserve. They are an old design, extremely dangerous, and have a tendency to injure but not cleanly kill the animal that wanders into them. If a person were to somehow be caught in one, I hate to even consider it. Santiago told me that the farmer who plays the traps has gone on vacation with his family. He's shaken. He had apparently spotted something running along the back of his fields at dusk, just as he was about to go home. I can understand his anxiety. Nobody is more concerned about the problems we're all facing than I am. But I wish they'd come to me. Santiago has been a real help, keeping me in the loop about what's going on amongst the farmers. But I fear that she is losing confidence as well. She takes my calls, but I rarely see her anymore. I am just glad that we see eye to eye about these dangerous traps. all your fingers attached, yes? Good. Wait. Did you hear that? Are you alright? Is it dead? Alma and Arturo, a wonderful couple from a nearby village, have asked me to be present at their wedding. As you know, Things are extremely hectic at the moment, but I'm considering taking the day off to attend. Arturo makes beautiful furniture and has refurbished some antique pieces for my family over the years. He's even let us use his workshop to make custom frames for our hunting trophies. I'd like to repay them, so you and I are going to acquire a fitting centerpiece for their dinner table. For this centerpiece, I need a wild boar, and I am confident that you got an eye for an impressive specimen. If circumstances were different, I'd be doing the hunting myself. I haven't hunted wild boars since I returned to the reserve. Of course, this is where it helps to have you as my trusted confidant. Since you started working here, I have been able to start gathering momentum. There's still so many problems to take care of, but I feel like I can start handling them now. Dealing with Vista España, convincing the neighbors that we have their best interests at heart. Even the simple things like basic maintenance around the reserve. You were hired as a hunter, but you've also had to solve some unorthodox problems. I appreciate the extra effort you've put in. And you've been a true friend to me during a difficult time. It means a great deal.
Well, isn't that a piece of premium pork? Fantastic work, my friend. Now it's time to hang it up, so I can send someone to retrieve it. Cresta Ribereña has a shed with a rack where you can hang it. Call me once you've dropped it off, and I shall have someone collect it. This should be a meal to remember. Are you familiar with the chef Antonia Costa Gonzalez? I have just received an email that is beyond belief. Mayor Hernandez's assistant, Rosa, has sent me an invoice for a rather impressive bottle of Gran Reserva Rioja and some refreshments. Apparently, a meeting is being held out here, so the mayor can show a government inspector around the reserve. She has included a few details in the email. She must have assumed that I knew about the meeting, since it's being held here. This is something that Hernandez has been pushing for two months now, and when I asked him why he wanted to show an inspector around, he said not to worry, and that he'd drop it. So it appears that by drop it, what he meant was, go ahead and not bother inviting me. I want you to head out to Campos Verdes and see what that serpiente is up to. It looks like it's empty. What's it like inside? so desperate to sell. Something to suggest simple taste, perhaps. Not even locally made. Disappointing. So he's putting on a show for this government official, trying to get him to sign off on selling the reserve. If this meeting goes ahead, he'll be able to put a lot more pressure on us to sell to Vista España. I need more time to fight this. I need you to do something for me. You need to make sure that this meeting is cancelled. Postponed, at least. Use your best judgment. Whatever strategy you go for, I trust you to get the job done. You've done it. Well, that didn't take long. Wait, have you sprayed the room with animal scent? I don't know if I should be impressed or dismayed. Although I wish you could see his face when he opens the door. We don't want them to see you. Gran parte de nuestra inversión ha ido dirigida hacia puestos como este. <coughs> ¿Pero qué? <coughs> ¡Dios, apesta! Um, Quizás si viéramos alguna otra cabaña. No tengo tiempo para esto. Llame a mi oficina y buscaremos otra fecha.
It worked? <laughs> you may have made my new lodge smell like a pig in heat, but it was worth it. I should call my lawyers. I suppose I ought to call the cleaners, too. You may have just bought me the time I need to get things in place to protect the reserve. I couldn't have done this without you and your uncanny vandalizing skills. Sadly, there's no time to enjoy this small victory. We've had several reports of sick and dying animals, all within a short distance of each other, scattered around a small lake. Naturally, if this is something serious, I'm likely to have the farmers at my door demanding answers. They have never seen this before, and they're scared. With that in mind, I want you to visit the area. If my hunch is correct, I believe that the lake could be the source of this issue. Oh, I, I meant to tell you. I spoke to my father. He was a little... distracted, but he was able to confirm that we've never tagged wolves here. Not only that, but I called around a few other nature parks and none of them have reported any missing wolves. So either a phantasma has traveled here from hundreds of kilometers away, or... I don't know. The tracker didn't tell us anything. In better news, I heard back from our vet. The wolf that you killed tested negative for rabies. That's a load of my mind. That's the lake I'm talking about. Have a look around. What on earth has happened here? They're all empty. Can you tell what was inside? Manure? But why would anyone... Look, there's footprints. I wonder if it's the same people who broke into Armando's barn. Take a photograph of the footprints. We need to collect as much evidence as possible. No farmer did this. We have a lead. One of the local goat herds had mentioned glimpsing light through the trees, just last night. Santiago had said something about it earlier, but I hadn't had time to hear the whole story. The trees she described are in a wood, quite close to the lake where you found the barrels. I want you to take a look up there, but be careful. I don't know who's running around my reserve at night, but I'm confident he's not an insomniac farmer. I'd rather you took pictures instead of confronting anyone. You're in the right area. Remember to approach carefully. They might still be there. Sarah, we need to know exactly what you found out there. We used to have cages like this in our kennels, but these bars are so thick. Maybe this one was destined for another lake. I guess our signs didn't just disappear after all. I cannot be 
begin to convey the rage that is twisting inside me at this moment. <sighs> Where is the driver? If you find him, keep him there until the police arrive. I'm calling them now. Follow them, and for the love of God, be careful. We know that if this wolf is still here, it's been specifically raised to attack humans. We have to put it down. was a monster, un ogro. You can hopefully find a way out. The monastery isn't safe, so be careful as you move around in there. It's old and crumbling, but still so beautiful. There is something special about that place. The monastery used to be a site of pilgrimage. Your journey to arrive there has been a battle too. The war to save Cuatro Colinas has been long, and I am so tired. When I think about what has happened here, I know that we did what we had to do. Because of our influence, Cuatro Colinas will maintain its divine and breathtaking landscapes. Its rolling hills will remain unblemished by tacky tourist attractions. And we'll continue to host some of the most majestic wildlife in the world. Of course, this is also a victory for my neighbors. They're already asking me questions about what happened. On top of all of this, you have proven to me that you are not only the person I needed to help me save my home, but are also a true friend. You have helped me in more ways than I can articulate, and you have not only my thanks, but that of my father. But that doesn't mean that there isn't still work to be done, so I recommend you catch your breath and get back to work. <laughs> 